new S commentary indicates that the 2019 catastrophe activity is expected to once again place a dent in reinsurance earnings. This comes after three straight years of severe losses, favorable reserve development on prior accident years, and persistently low interest rates. I'm John Weber for AM Best TV, and here to explain what this all means moving forward is senior financial analyst Marissa Costa. And Marissa, we're going to start by talking about loss creep from Typhoon Jebby, which took place in 2018 in the Far East. How has that affected the clarity around this year's cat loss estimates? So Jebby, um, as you mentioned, did have significant loss creep uh, to most of the reinsurers in 2019. Um, the uh, loss estimates uh, by the modelers um, were not accurate in the beginning, so they creeped up all the way to, I think the estimate now is about 15 or $16 billion. So as the estimates increased, obviously the reinsurers increased their estimates, so there was significant loss creep. We think that has sta stabilized at this point. Um, with the two most recent typhoons in Japan, the ranges are wider than they were for Jebai, and we are seeing that reinsurers are um, uh, placing their loss estimates at the high end, so hopefully um, we will see less reserve development. They will be kept to a minimum, if any, um, because I think they, um, they did learn their lesson and they're trying to be more conservative in the, um, how they view their, their losses and their um, exposure to that region. Being that we've had three straight years of major catastrophe losses, what does AM Best expect to see in terms of pricing? So we think that for January 1 and for um, certainly for April, we would expect the um, April is J the Japan renewal. We would expect that the rate increases will um, continue. Um, for June, we, we are still waiting to see what is going to happen. We do think that Dorian um, could have been a lot worse. And if nothing else, um, in terms of psychology, uh, it was supposed to hit Florida as a Hurricane 5. It didn't. It turned. So there needs to be more rate in Florida. These companies need to um, be compensated for the risk, the risk that they are taking, um, particularly in Florida and now in other parts of the world, like Japan. So we think rate will continue. Uh, we'll see how far it will go. But for January 1 and for April 1, we are optimistic that rates um, will go up again. Uh, for June, we'll have to wait and see. What are we seeing in respect to insurance-linked securities? So ILS, um, we think that that was a, a big learning moment for that market in 2017 and 2018 with the large losses and with that, the trap capital that they faced. Uh, some investors um, maybe were caught off guard that their investments were trapped. Um, some of the funds at a hard time repl replenishing that capital. Um, so we do think the ILS is here to stay. It is part of, of the market. Um, we just, um, we think that with the need for rate that these ILS funds um, will um, also be requiring rate and these investors will also be uh, demanding more rate for the risks and the investment, the, the money that they're putting to work for these risks. Uh, and the more educated that they are about these risks, um, the better the market is. Reinsurers definitely need rate. Um, and we think that ILS um, hopefully will follow and will aid the market for that rate that is very needed for, for the reinsurance and the retro market um, going forward. Marissa, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. You can find the full report online at ambest.com. For AM Best TV, I'm John Weber.